I thought I would show you a little bit on how to find missing data in a data set. There are a lot of different ways to do this. Maybe one of the simplest ways is just to sort your data and then you, all of the things that are blank will come to the top. Um, you're sorting this one, all the blank ones are at the top. You'll also see things often that don't have a code. So for instance, I have the toggle on right here to show me what things are coded, but we've got some genders of zero um, instead of male, female, and you'll need to know your data set to know whether zero means people put other for gender or whether zero is some kind of data entry error. Like, you know, what, is, what does that mean? Um, in my own data sets, I usually, if the data is missing, I usually leave it as missing. However, you can code that. You can go in and say, hey, you know, if it's coded as a zero, then that means that that is missing data. And from then on, the computer will treat that zero as though it were missing. If it's not coded, the computer will think that zero just means zero because, you know, SPSS is not smart. It doesn't know what you mean when you put these numbers in. So make sure you pay attention to some details like that in real data sets that you work with um, along the way. Um, another way that you can figure out missing data is to run frequency tables. So say we want to look at gender and year of birth and we want to see what kind of missing data we have, missing data we have, um, and kind of what it looks like. When you run that, you'll see right away uh, we've got nine things missing in gender. And of course I just told it that the zeros were missing now. And we have eight people missing in year of birth. Um, and so you can even see more detail here under missing. We've got zeros, what we told it was missing. There's four of those. And then when it says system missing, that means it's literally just blank. And then there's a blank um, cell in the data set there. So you can you look at that and then you'll see like year of birth. We didn't code anything as missing there. So there's eight system missing there. So you can go in and kind of hunt and peck is usually the easiest way to find what you're looking for at that point to figure out. Um, but one of the interesting things about this data set and a lot of data sets is you'll sometimes find all you have on participants, certain participants, is their ID number and nothing else. Um, so that's kind of important to look at and see see what you've got there. I tend to go through all of them and sort and see, you know, how how each individual data is doing in terms of missing data. And uh, so you have a good sense of your missing data that way. So that's how to find your missing data.